Hey guys, I know what you are waiting for. So here I have two Galaxy S22 Ultra. They are very similar, but they are not the same. So you can see on my left, I have the 908E, which means it's equipped with the Snapdragon processor. And on my right is the 908B, which means it's the Exynos variant. So you can see the processor info from here, right? So Snapdragon and Exynos. And both these two devices have 12 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of ROM. So everything of these two devices are the same except for color and the processor. All right. And the very first comparison between these two devices we are going to do is Genshin Impact Test. Everything will be the same. Room temperature will be 25 degrees. And right now I'm just as curious as you are and how these two devices perform against each other. So let's start. First of all, the graphics settings. Of course, these are the flagship devices, so I've set everything to highest possible. And of course, I enable 60 FPS. By the way, the device on your left is Snapdragon, and the device on your right is the, the Exynos. I think most of you are quite familiar with how my tests are done. So basically, I play the game for real with real characters doing the real stuff for about 10 minutes. And during this time, I show you the real-time FPS and the power consumption from each of these two devices. All right. And if you are interested, you can watch them in full. Otherwise, you can always skip to the end of the video where I'll test the device temperature and give you a conclusion about the average FPS performance as well as the power consumption. Alright, without further ado, let's go.
healthy body, healthy mind.
Right, that's a good 10 minutes of gaming. Hope you enjoy the footage. And uh, now let's test the temperature. It's actually very interesting that the Snapdragon actually has a slightly higher temperature than the Exynos. So Snapdragon at 42 degrees, Exynos at 41 degrees. This is really, really interesting to me. And what is more interesting is that the average FPS between these two devices are actually very, very similar. We are seeing 30 from Exynos and 32 from Snapdragon. So that's like, what, maybe less than 10%, right? It's really a small difference, and I can say that they perform very, very similar to each other. And when we move on to power consumption, it's actually even more interesting. Here we see that the Snapdragon actually used a little bit more power than the Exynos. And just like the performance difference, the power difference is actually pretty small, it's less than 10%. But with this result, we can conclude that the efficiency in Genshin Impact is very, very similar from these two devices. We are not seeing any huge performance or efficiency gap between Snapdragon and Exynos. And I think most of you, even including myself, was expecting that, but it's not happening. So the performance of these two devices or SOCs are extremely similar. They are very, very similar to each other. And of course, I know that Samsung is going to push uh, day, day zero update uh, soon enough, maybe in a couple of days. And uh, that's supposed to improve the performance, right? So of course, I will test again and uh, update if there is any difference. And uh, in the coming days or weeks, I'll compare every aspect of these two devices from battery life to performance, to sustained performance, to efficiency, uh, to video quality, and maybe even photo quality, everything. So I'll keep posting my videos and updates. So please subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Twitter, if you will. Uh, so that you don't miss any of these updates, right? So thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.